Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to Rosodonomi. My name is Kimpa M and I thank you so much for joining me guys. If you are new here, welcome and please don't just watch and walk away. Support my channel guys, you know, like and subscribe and guys, I love and appreciate you so much. Yo guys, go nini ngiti yo. <laughs> guys, naman jeng sa chugi yo man, like um, um, yeah, jeng sa chugi so guys what happened uh there's this lady by the name of promise makunyana promise is it is tiktok famous she also has like a youtube channel so she has like this a reality talk show with other wives about high spans marriage and shitting guys the, that show is here on youtube her youtube channel it's called my husband this my husband that so on the first episode of this reality i talk show she spoke about her marriage how she and her husband got separated a year that they were supposed to get married. Apparently, Promise's husband cheated, guys. So while they were still separate, um, oh, Lendo Taka Promise impregnated their side chick. Anyway, a year later, Promise and her husband decided to fix things. And a Promise, um, you know, like she made a promise with K. Uso mam gela lum tuana lona on indota kimin zile while they were still on separation, guys. Anyway, going forward, her husband impregnated another lady, guys, another side chick, whom a promise said she'll never accept that second child. So, guys, OWAMI Entertainment made a video about that reality show, guys. And, guys, truth be told, I never knew promise until I saw OWAMI talking about her. I then went and checked the, uh, <laughs> the channel, the reality talk show. Anyway, guys, OWAMI made a commentary and said what Promise is doing is a joke. If your husband cheats, you have two choices. It's either you stay or you leave. And if you choose to stay, you must know that you have to accept everything that comes with a shitting husband. If he made kids, why? he was cheating then you must also accept those kids because at the end of the day you are related to them and since you are married to that to their daddy that makes you their mom you know so you cannot say i accept that my husband cheated and i forgive him but throw the kids out of which guys i feel like she made valid points you know so guys, I promise decided to like um clap back at Oami and said you don't have kids, you are not even sure if we can make them, but we have the audacity to open your mouth and address women on issues of children until you cannot partake in such conversations. Um please and labor gang one side. Yo guys so people co people commented guys and they were like oh owami is a baron you know so owami also like got offended uh, by that statement she, so she decided to respond to the baron uh, issue and explain why she doesn't have kids of her own and that she will not fall pregnant because she is not about to prove to anyone that she can bear children and she went on guys and said promise you do not have a lock to your children's life continue going around and calling um women who do not have kids barren and insulting them said one day she might be involved in a car accident and lose all her children and only to find that she's at, uh, at the age whereby she cannot give uh, birth anymore you know then Sibon what will be the difference between her and those women she's calling barren apparently guys promise is used to using this line or insulting women with no kids and call them barren or oh, said she is not the only one but guys, ish, infertility is such like a very sensitive issue. You cannot, as a woman, use it to make fun of another woman. It's like divorce, guys, or having a bad like a bad luck when it comes to my relationship. As a lady, guys, you cannot be laughing at another woman because her marriage failed or say they cannot keep a man, especially if you are also married. Because guys, Luana, tomorrow, I'm going to get a divorce, you know. Oh yeah, wanga vuga ksa so turguti abantu anaba kulaba onabo abasapili and now you cannot give a uh, birth anymore. So so begins agalan then. Anyway, guys, yeah, I understand that Oami was hurt and offended, obviously, and mean that it's why she decided to set the, the record straight about this issue. She doesn't have children, you know, of which I feel like Nagolog, it was just not necessary, man. She could have kept it moving. I mean, she knows what to promise Oman Donjan. Okay, but it's fine, she did. But also, guys, her kissing the kids, yo, I feel like ugh, that was too much. That was like a bit insensitive, guys. She could have said what she wanted to say and not um include Abantuan, we are young killing to beg a phone wish. So, I I feel like at this point both of Oami and Promise are just the same, you know. 
the way i see it way to buy insensitive guys buy a fan and one of them and then the mind's way to it's not right you know anyway guys comment down below let us know what you'll think about this whole situation and guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like this video guys i thank you for watching i'll see y'all on my next upload bye for now